this is Roger with Frame from Frames. Uh, we're going to show you today in an L-shaped floater. L-shaped floater is a floater that is shaped from a profile standpoint. It is L-shaped. There's no step, no built-in float space. You have to add for your float space. So if you have a 10 by 10 canvas, this so happens I have a 10 by 10 stretcher bar. It doesn't have a canvas on it, but you can see it's a 10 by 10. So we're going to pretend this is a piece of artwork with canvas on it. You have to add to your canvas size to the um, appropriate amount of float space you want in the frame. So on this particular frame, we're doing a 3 8 inch float. I can tell because we've already cut it, I've already measured it, so that's a 3 8 inch, roughly a 3 8 inch float. You can do quarter inch. Quarter inch is the most highly used float space. Uh, as of the last couple of years, uh, an eighth inch float space has become very popular, and that's just the gap between your canvas and the inside edge of the frame so that the canvas is not touching and it's, i.e., floating in the frame. So basically, um, that's your canvas, and when you receive it in the mail, you will have your artwork, which is this piece. You'll get the frame. We pre-drill the L-shaped because oftentimes the stretcher bar does not overhang the back of the frame far enough for offset brackets to work. So we found the easiest method is to pre-drill the frame. We do that for you and provide the screws. We slightly countersink the back so the screw heads go into the frame a little bit and keeps the back of your frame as flat as possible. We also provide you with shims foam core shims and what they will do is they will slide in between like these do so you load your canvas first we will send you the appropriate thickness foam core to slide in between the inside of the frame and the outside of, the, of your canvas to center it for you automatically these will be solid pieces so if you have a quarter inch uh, float space we will send you quarter inch pieces if you have uh, 3 8 we'll send you 3 8 inch pieces. So basically, what happens is this will allow you to center the canvas in the frame, and then you're going to stand it up ever so slightly. Now remember, the foam core is just holding it in place. What will happen next is we will also send you screws that go through the holes in the back of the frame. So what I like to do typically is if you have a helper, they can hold the top of the frame and the canvas and the spacers until you get a couple of screws in. So basically, you, I like to, if I'm by myself, left hand, if you're right handed on the foam core strips and the canvas, start the screw hole in the frame. You can use a screwdriver or, as we like to use, a drill. That's much, much easier. And you're just going to line that up. Takes a few seconds for it to bite. Once it bites in place, it screws your canvas to your frame. And you do that on all four sides. So once you get the top done, you really don't need help unless it's a 24 by 36 or a larger frame. You just continue putting the screws in. So we'll go to the bottom next. As you can see, the canvas still moves. We're going to hold this in place, and you've got to get the screw to bite in. Once it bites in, you've got that mounted. So once you put all four screws in, you pull these back out, and your canvas is centered and mounted in your floater frame, ready for hanging hardware. Very easy technique. We provide the foam core shims. We provide the, the uh, screw holes in the back of the frame. We provide the screws all at no charge for all floater frames you order. Um, that concludes how to install a canvas into an L-shaped floater with pre-drilled holes, screws, and your foam core shims. Be watching for more instructional videos from Franken Frames. Thank you.